What's up, Trap Fam? It's your boy Kevin, and you chopping it up on Trap Bistro TV. Today, we're making trap fish and chips. You ever feel like having fish and chips, but you don't want to spend all day in the kitchen preparing it? Well, I got the recipe for you. We're going to use simple ingredients, and it's a quick and easy recipe that you can enjoy any night of the week. For this recipe, we're going to go into our pantry. We got instant mashed potatoes and canned tuna. Pretty much all you guys got that in your pantry. If you don't, I mean, it's really cheap. You pick this up for a dollar and the canned tuna are 59 cents. So with this recipe, you can feed two or three people at a time and really fill their stomach up. All right, so what we're gonna do first is get our water and our egg mixed together. We're using six ounces of potatoes. So we need one and a half cups of water. Go ahead and put that in your bowl. And then to the bowl, you're gonna crack an egg. All right, go ahead and mix that together. And next, let's add our potatoes. At this point, you can use whatever potatoes you like, whatever flavor, they got roasted garlic, four cheese, you name it. Possibilities are endless. I'm gonna just show you guys the basic ones. Today. For a little extra flavor, we're adding some chicken bouillon. And let's mix it all together. Now, I really recommend you use a spoon, and not a whisk, it'll just gunk up. So use that spoon, and most importantly, use room temperature water. Don't use hot water, use room temperature. Now, if it looks too dry, you can add a little bit more water and egg, and that will hold everything together. Now we add everything mixed together. It's kind of a pasty consistency, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and add our tuna, which adds some liquid to it too. You just don't want it too wet. It's not gonna hold together when you fry it. Just get your canned tuna up in there, chunk light. Nothing wrong with that. All right, guys, now that we got everything incorporated, we're gonna put on some parchment paper. Now we're gonna use our hands and just fold it and mold it into our cakes here. Looking pretty good. What we're gonna do though, is we're gonna fold it over, put it in the fridge, just let it chill out for a little bit. That's gonna help solidify it, keep it solid when we go ahead and fry it. All right, now we got our fish patties. I'll use our spoon from earlier. Just carve yourself some patties out of that thing. Don't have to be a perfect circle. If, you, if it can resemble a fish fillet, I mean, that's really good. So, there we go, got nice three pieces right there. So I went ahead and just formed those patties a little tighter by hand, just so they stick together. There's a fish fillet right there. And another one. There you go. All right, so we got a pot of hot oil steaming. Let's go ahead and put our fish cakes in there. You may want to use a spatula. Now, depending on the thickness, you want to do about two minutes to two and a half minutes per side because we're going to flip it over. It's deep frying, but the oil doesn't fully cover it, so we want to flip it and make sure everything is nice golden brown on the outside. So I flip this bad boy. All right, guys, now that's ready, let's go ahead and scoop it out and put it on a wire rack or a plate full of paper towels. All right, there you guys have it, trap fish and chips. A quick and easy recipe that's delicious. You can feed a bunch of people for not that much money. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys the inside of it. Super crispy on the outside, and tender, and soft on the inside. If you ever had a Porto's potato ball, this is exactly what it tastes like. I hope you guys like that trap recipe. Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more trap recipes. Coming right at you. Till next time, Trap Bistro out.